Welcome to my first official week of the Parasite Heavy Metal Candida and Toxin Cleanse. If you're new here, you might want to go and check out the past two videos. And if you're an OG watcher, welcome back. We have finished our first week of detox and we are now day three into the official cleanse. So when it came to last week, we were focusing on opening up our drainage systems, making sure that they were functioning well so that this claim, claim that this cleanse goes sustainably, okay? Now, last week we used the products from Roger Hood that were designed to help open up those pathways. So we used the three day gutty product, which was a colon cleanse. Now this is not a diuretic. This is something that is going to allow for everything to stick so that it pulls it out of your colon. Mm, good stuff. Then I also used the fulvic soak, which you guys saw the results in that last video, which were absolutely mind blowing. I'm going to be continuing to use that product throughout this cleanse and then just focusing on pulling things from what I'm eating, making sure that I'm focused on the right foods to make this a successful cleanse. So I am about to go into my second set of drops for the day. Now there is three times that I need to take drops and then at the end of the day then I also need to take one of their supplement capsules. So I'm gonna get into that real quick here with you guys. So we have a lot of different products to go over here, but the first one that I wanna go over is their Sustain. So I'm looking at taking 15 drops of these first thing in the morning, as well as with their Metal Flush product, another 15 drops, then 15 drops of the Parify. So these guys I take every morning with the Red Artist. So the Red Artist I only take once a day, it's 30 drops first thing in the morning. Now they all, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, okay, like what do these actually taste like? So when it comes to taste, there is grain alcohol in all of them. So there is alcohol that is in them. Now this is not enough to make you mashuki, but you can definitely taste it. What I find is first thing in the morning, I don't taste it, which is really strange. And as the day goes on, then I taste it more. So the Red Artist is only once, the Sustain is twice, the Metal Flush and the Parify are three times, and then at the end of the day, I also take these Cinnabon capsules. So as we go into the weeks, I'll explain more about the products, but I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of exactly what it is that I'm taking for the supplements on top of my regular supplements that I take. Being an online personal trainer as well as a bodybuilder, supplements are something that's so important to me. I went through a really bad hormonal imbalance over the last couple of years and it is my supplements that were able to bring me back to balance and I'm so grateful for them. You know, because of the way that our food is processed now, you know, even our soils not having as many nutrients as what they used to, we are nutrient deficient, a lot of us. Now, me learning about parasites and how they can create nutrient deficiencies and so many gut issues and our hormones correlate with our gut really tells me that maybe all of this is linked. So even though I've seen so much success in improving my hormonal imbalances, it is so exciting to see what is gonna come from this parasite, heavy metal, candida and toxin cleanse. So I have been removing toxins from my household over the last year and a half so far now changing to glass Tupperware, making sure that I am using bleach-free feminine products, you know, as natural as I can for laundry products, cleaning products, fluoride-free toothpaste. The list really goes on and on, and I will do an episode for you guys where I outline some of the things that I've changed so that we can have less hormone disruptors in our household that will not disrupt our body because that's what ends up happening with all of these toxins. Now, because I am on day three of the actual cleanse itself, it is really exciting because I have already passed a few different things. So I have seen things come out when I have gone number one and when I have gone number two. Since doing the fulvic soak last week, the full body and the foot soak, I have not done any further fulvic soaks, but I will be doing that today or tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you guys the, the details in regards to that but we need to start cooking a little bit of food here. So I'm gonna start cooking and talk to you guys about what I'm eating. If you guys have been following my journey on Instagram, shameless plug, at authentically.fit, you know that I've been doing renovations in my house and it is so freaking exciting because he thinks he's gonna be done 
today. This is freaking huge. It has been an eight week project for us. So I am so excited to see everything come together. We would have been done a little bit sooner, but you know, renovations, they have hiccups along the way, things that get added that weren't anticipated. And you know, things like paint colors not matching when you're going to do a paint match. So having to repaint areas that you thought were just gonna be able to be touched up. But we've made it through. The house looks beautiful. I can't wait to take you guys on an official tour. But we are about to cook some farm fresh ground chicken, chicken breast, stuck to the plate. Um, and that's it for right now. So they don't want you eating much meat when it comes to the cleanse itself, simply for the fact that it is very acidic. Um, you know, they can carry parasites in and of themselves. But the nice part is, is that the chicken that I am buying is farm fresh, raised without antibiotics. You know, they're going to be grain fed or sorry, not grain fed, grass fed. And so it's really exciting that you know, they still permit for you to have it, even though it's not fully recommended. It's not something that is necessarily a, a major no-go. And that's something that's really important for me as a bodybuilder. I need my meat, like literally, like I could not just survive off of fruits and vegetables. Now, there are a lot of restrictions in regards to what type of fruits and vegetables you can be intaking, but because I had been on a candida cleanse in the past, I'm very familiar with this. So it really is just bringing back my knowledge from practicing this before in the past. So because we are on day three today, I do have to say, like, I feel a lot of things are changing. I do feel a little bit more energized. I currently have not had any actual die off symptoms, which is really exciting. Uh, you know, aside from feeling sore, which I haven't worked out honestly since Thursday last week, which naughty, but at the same time too, finishing up the renovations, family just left that was staying with us for like a month on the weekend and uh, work has been really busy. So I, and then starting this cleanse and I wanted to make sure that I nailed everything. So even though I haven't had the movement that I wish that I could have gotten in, I've closed up a lot of really big things and now we're smooth, smooth rolling from here. So I'm super pumped about everything. Now, um, with that being said though, with being sore, I know it's not coming from working out. So I know that that is a little bit of a die off symptom. I am finding I'm fairly tired in the mornings, but you know, I'm getting good energy throughout the day. I'm picking up. So I'm so stoked to see this continue to progress in regards to my energy and feeling like I am refreshed when I wake up in the morning, because I am firmly believing that that is going to be happening within these 30 days. So really right now, we're just going to be cooking up the chicken. I need to take my second set of drops. And the biggest thing that I want you guys to remember with this is that as long as you have your timings down pat, this is actually fairly easy. So, you know, like I said, there's many other supplements that I'm taking and I need to make sure that I don't cross over with the, they call them tinctures, the drops themselves, but I can't cross over with the drop times, nor can I drop over with the, the capsule times. So how it kind of looks is that I got to take my probiotic because I am taking a probiotic right now. First thing in the morning, I got to wait an hour. Then I can take my, my morning drops, which are all four. Then I need to wait a half an hour to eat and take my supplements. And then it's every four to five hours that I'm taking these drops. So then I go into the mid morning or I guess like afternoon set. So my second set of drops, which is only the two products. Then same thing where you gotta wait another half an hour to eat. I don't take any supplements midday. And then in the evening, same thing where you gotta wait another four to five hours since your last drops. Once you take the drops, wait another half hour to take your supplements and your food. And then two hours after I take those supplements, I need to take the capsules at the end of the day. So it is a bit of timing, but honestly, put a timer on your phone. It's not that hard to do, and you're gonna easily be able to have success on this journey. We're cooking up the ground chicken right now, and I wanted to chat more about the meats because I know I got a little carried away there because there is just so much information that I feel like I wanna share with you guys. So although I am still keeping meats in, I am gonna prioritize lean meats um, lean white meat as much as possible. And I think I'm going to add in red meat like one time per week. 
I was going to keep eggs in, but after talking with Roger Hood, I do think that removing eggs for right now is the best option. So when I was talking with her, she had said that eggs can carry viruses and you know it's really easy to not cook your eggs all the way through because i like mine over easy so i'm just gonna stick with the lean protein i am gonna keep it for three meals per day so it's gonna be a priority to stay on top of prepping my meats here so i'm really excited to at least have some variety between chicken and turkey and you know, you can get the ground meat or you can get the breast. So I'm super stoked to be able to at least have some protein that I can prioritize each meal period. The other thing that I've noticed as well is that my skin is the best that I've seen it in a little while. Now, I don't know if I can contribute this to the parasite cleanse itself or if I actually contributed to the fact that I started black seed oil for the benefits of being able to help clear up my skin. So I'm gonna get my husband on the um, black seed oil. He also has skin issues and we're gonna be able to see a little bit better if it's the black seed oil itself since he's not doing the cleanse just yet. But I know once he sees my results, he's gonna be jumping on it with me. I've been in his ear because I genuinely believe, you know, with us being together, it's gonna be 10 years this summer and then also, you know, the fact of he's been through so many gut issues and travels and things like that, you know, the skin issues that he deals with as well, it really makes me wonder. So regardless of whether he does the journey or not, I'm going to be the birdie in his ear and he can watch my journey. And so we'll get him on the black seed oil and see if that's what's actually improving his acne or not but there are so many different benefits to black seed oil. So I'm just really glad that I was able to add it into my supplement regimen on top of everything else that I'm taking. So I will bring you guys through a little bit of a haul of what I take on the daily for supplements. And we are going to just use it as an example, okay? So anything that I'm taking or anything that I'm doing is just showing you guys for educational purposes. I am not None of this content is to be to diagnose anything that you currently have. It is not to uh, copy what I am doing. I'm a firm believer that every body is different on what it needs and it requires. So I'm just here to bring you guys along on my journey so that you can see my experience and how my body transforms with what I'm taking. A ground chicken does not always have the greatest flavor profile. So something that I'm doing to spice up my ground chicken is using the salt-free Mrs. Dash. And then we have a local coffee place here called Rampage Coffee. So I have one of their coffee rubs, as crazy as that sounds, but it's great for chicken, so it's more spice for it. Um, as well as we got some Himalayan salt, pepper, and then I added a little bit of avocado oil in there as well, just to bring together the flavors and allow her to cook up a little bit nicer and brown. So if you need any recommendations for your ground chicken, I highly recommend playing with some spices to make sure that you can bring through the flavor profile that you like. So the last time that I would have talked to you guys in the previous video would have been June 6th. Now it is currently June 21st today, first day of summer, and I have had a little bit of a delay. Now you guys know that we were finishing up the renos. I was so excited about it. I was going to go and clean up the house that night so that we had it prepared for the weekend the silliest things happen sometimes and I went to go and put on my pants. I lifted my leg to put my leg in my pants and I ended up feeling my hip drop. Anyways, long story short, I got myself into the silliest injury. I was out for a few days, ended up having to be on some pain medication. And with that, I didn't want to continue on with utilizing the cleanse solely for the fact of we want to make sure that our gut is as good as possible, right? And I really didn't want to be taking those harsh medications while I was still taking the tinctures. So I ditched it for a few days, which means that as of yesterday, maybe, yeah, yesterday or the day before, that is like my full week that I have been actually on the cleanse. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about is what has changed in such a short amount of time. Now, I have been expecting my period. Now, you know, my period runs a, a little a little differently on my cycle sometimes, and so I was really hoping that 
this parasite cleanse was going to allow for me to see more regularity in it and what's very interesting is that parasites are mo most active on the full moon now today is the full moon so i had been feeling bloated a little bit feeling like you know like i feel like it might be coming but i have no real signs like i felt typically i have breast pain i hadn't been having any breast pain the last few days um aside from like feeling a little bit in my stomach it was like really me questioning like questioning so much that i literally took a pregnancy test okay that was a big negative but i genuinely was like i don't know if something's wrong with me or what's actually going on well what are the chances i end up getting my period and guys keep in mind that i have had very heavy harsh periods since i was a kid i got my period in grade five i would have been 10 years old at the time so this is now 20 years of having my period and it has been excruciating throughout. Always having to take Midol, always feeling like shit, tired, having the shits. It has been not great. And if there's any males watching, you're probably like, oh my gosh, but welcome to female life. And any females watching, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, I know exactly what you're talking about. So with that being said, I just want to tell you guys that I have officially gotten my period on the full moon this is the best period i have ever had i am sure that you guys can tell by my energy right now yes i feel the slightest amount of cramps but it is so easy to work with that i am like okay hey, if this is one week into the cleanse and i am already feeling this good i am so freaking excited because the other part is too is that i am in a position where my skin is finally clearing up this is huge you guys know that getting rid of my acne is like one of my number one things that i'm hoping to have with this and it is so far looking really good so easy period no cramps no breast pain without going into too much detail the period itself is just immaculate compared to how it's been so i am just so excited for what's about to come i have done another full body fulvic soak there was a little critter that was in my tub because this time i wanted to make sure that i was using my light while i was actually soaking instead of only looking when i got out and what this proved is that there is so much underneath the water that doesn't necessarily rise to the top so just because you don't see it doesn't mean it hasn't come out of you so when it comes to these fulvic soaks these parasites heavy metals uh, any like really it pulls all types of toxins can come out and uh, be in a position where you're you might not see them but they can come from any part of your body okay because what you do with this fulvic soak is you add some of this fulvic acid to it which is 100% natural it's derived from the soil it's very safe for your body and I always like to do a good dry brush beforehand get the water as hot as I can put in the fulvic soak and start soaking myself. You gotta be in there for 30 minutes and then you get out and let the water sit for another 30 minutes. With the buoyancy of the water, it's supposed to bring up any of the parasites, uh, like the heavy metals themselves just seem to float on the top and um, the other toxins if you have any in your body. So there, there's just so much benefit to this and anybody can do this. And so even though I didn't see as much come out of my body this time as what I did the first time, I actually got to see some of these guys, which is crazy, which is what I'm going to show you in the next video. And it's a really good thing that I didn't see as much because there's so much that's obviously being expelled from my body while taking these tinctures. I'm seeing it in my urine. I'm seeing it in my bowel movements. I'm not going to be showing you guys that stuff. And, you know, as crazy as this sounds, there's literally people that are like picking through their shit to pull these guys out to show what it is that they are pulling out. I'm just like, if I see it on the top, like, great, I get to see what's going down. And I have seen some crazy stuff, okay? Crazy stuff. So I am just so excited to continue this journey, really allow for myself to own my true potential and what my health is. This is literally a life-changing journey. It, like, makes me want to cry just thinking about it. So I'm so excited to keep you guys up to date on what is going on from here we're one week down which is so exciting and more than anything i just want to encourage you guys to be open to this to make sure that you are looking at things like your urine because that tells a lot about your hydration 
It's important to look at your bowel movements as taboo as this is, but it tells a ton about your health, whether you're on a parasite journey or not. So make sure to look before, you're flush, before you flush is the what I wanna close off with. And I'm gonna show you guys what that parasite looked like in my full body fulvic soak. It's freaking crazy. So make sure to hit that follow button, turn on the notifications, cause this is a wild journey and you guys don't wanna miss out.